Kristen Griffith, and I graduated in spring of 2010 from the School of Education with a Bachelor's of Science in Elementary Ed. When you think about elite under 40 under 40, it's like, it's such an honor. I know that I'm a, a really great educator, but I don't think about myself being like this like visionary educator, so it was a huge honor to receive that award. One year, I was teaching second grade, and a parent approached me. He was actually an engineer. He talked to me about how he was afraid that his job was going to become obsolete because of technology. He wanted to know what I was doing and what the school was doing to make sure that kids were going to be able to be competitive when they graduated. At the time, it seemed kind of silly, because a second grader, but I was super thankful for that. I really need to focus on what these kids are going to do in you know, just a few years when they graduate. I just kind of went to local businesses. Mimic Insurance Company actually gave me a couple grants to purchase some robotics equipment and iPads. And I want them to be able to not just do things with technology, but we also do a lot of like hands-on type stuff. Um, one of the big projects that I championed was I took them outside, a group of second graders, and they built a fort in the woods from scratch. By the end of the year, we had running water. The kids had built furniture. They had built, constructed this huge wooden fort, like using just their hands and their imagination. Um, I think technology plays a big part, but I would hope that they also learn how to apply things that they learn in a, like a real life setting and they can be creative with it. I had a professor my sophomore year. He took us in the lobby of the School of Education and there is a quote on the wall by Chaim Ganat. One of the lines is, I can be a tool of torture or an instrument of inspiration. I knew in that moment, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be an instrument of inspiration. Every time I plan a lesson, anytime I plan anything to do with my students, I always think, how can I inspire them to not just be a better student, but to want to be just a greater person in general. Probably that moment at OU changed the course of my career. I always I always reflect back on that moment.